Hello everyone! Welcome to another installment of my series Machine Spotlight, where we take a look at some of the brand new machines in Horizon Forbidden West. As requested, today we're going to be shining the spotlight on the Slitherfang. The Slitherfang is yet another brand new machine that you'll encounter in your journey through the Forbidden West. The Slitherfang closely resembles an enormous snake, specifically its hood which gives it the appearance of a cobra or asp as well as its rattler, a signature feature of a rattlesnake. The Slitherfang was specifically created by Hephaestus with the sole purpose of killing anyone unlucky enough to cross paths with it. In this video, I'll cover its locations, strengths and weaknesses, combat strategies, and more. Let's get started with its locations on the map. The Slitherfang is quite rare as it only has two designated machine sites. The first location is on the outskirts of the Nevada desert, directly north of the ruins of Las Vegas. Here, you'll find a lone Slitherfang with no other machines in the immediate vicinity. The second site is located just north of the Tanakh settlement Scalding Spear. This site is also home to a lone Slitherfang, however, be careful. It will only reveal itself when you're within striking distance. Now, let's look at the data point for the Slitherfang. Slitherfang, a level 28 combat heavyweight machine. An enormous, fast combat machine that can lash out from long range. Once it assumes a coiled stance, it has access to its full arsenal as its rotating body parts snap into place. It is weak versus fire, frost and plasma damage, and strong versus shock, purge water, and acid damage. Notable loot includes metal shards, metal bite, crystal braiding, braided wire, slither fang circulator, large machine core, Slitherfang Primary Nerve, Volatile Sludge, Machine Muscle, Luminous Brainstem, Metal Bone, and Sturdy Hard Plate. Next, let's take a look at the Slitherfang's various weak points. Once again, keep in mind that the Slitherfang is weak versus fire, frost, and plasma damage. The purge water canister acts as purge water storage. You can either tear it off to collect the resource or shoot with the purge water arrow to detonate. The data nexus acts as the machine's central processor. It is especially vulnerable to damage if exposed. Acid canisters act as metal bite storage. As with the purge water canisters, you can tear them off to collect the resource or shoot with an acid arrow to detonate. Shock orbs are used to power all shock attacks. The orbs spin on their axis to charge up before sequentially snapping into place to launch an attack. You can detach them to use as a weapon for yourself. The earth grinders are serrated soil churners capable of crushing nearly anything it ensnares. Tear them off to collect a key upgrade resource. Concealed glow blast canisters act as glow blast storage. Tear them off to collect the resource or shoot with a plasma arrow to detonate. Resource containers act as storage canisters for valuable resources. Tear them off to collect their contents. The large metal bite sack acts as metal bite storage. Destroy it to disable acid attacks. The sonic hood is composed of large vibrating metal plates that are only vulnerable when extended. Detach or destroy to disable the ranged sonic blast attack. The purge water sac acts as purge water storage. Destroy to disable purge water attacks. Finally, the sparker acts as shock storage. Tear it off to collect the resource or shoot with the well placed shock arrow to detonate. Now, let's take a look at the only other variant of the Slitherfang the Apex Slitherfang. Apex Slitherfang a level 48 combat heavyweight machine, a hunter-killer variant 
recognizable by black and gold armor plates and purple muscles. It has been modified to be significantly more resilient and deadly. It cannot be overridden. It is weak versus fire and plasma damage, and strong versus frost, shock, purge water, and acid damage. Hunting Apex Leatherfangs, while difficult, can help you acquire precious endgame loot. It has 100% drop rates for Crystal Braiding, Metal Bite, Metal Shards, Apex Slitherfang Heart, and Luminous Brainstem. You can also get Braided Wire, Large Machine Core, Slitherfang Circulator, Slitherfang Primary Nerve, a Volatile Sludge, Piercing Spike, and Sturdy Hard Plate. Now that we've covered the strengths and weaknesses, let's see a Slitherfang in combat to study its range of attacks. Here you can see it switching to its Purge Water Sack to power up its Purge Water attacks. One such attack is its Jet of Pressurized Purge Water. It can lunge forward for a devastating bite. It uses its Sonic Hood to launch Sonic Blasts to temporarily incapacitate you. Here you see its Sweeping Bite attack which can cover a long distance. Here it sweeps its massive electrified tail back and forth. Now it switches to its Metal Bite Sack to power up its acid attacks. Specifically, its Jet of Pressurized Acid. Here, it sweeps its massive head around, destroying anything it impacts. Keep moving in order to avoid its devastating Thunderbolt attack. If you're caught in its coil, you'll suffer an explosive shock. The Slitherfang can indeed be overridden once you have cleared the Kappa Cauldron and received its overrides. Now, let's demonstrate overriding a Slitherfang in the wild. We will of course be setting it to aggressive. The Slitherfang can make short work of nearby behemoths and ravagers. These spike snouts never stood a chance. As you can see, the Slitherfang can be a deadly ally once overridden. Finally, let's take a closer look at the detachable weapon we can use, the Slitherfang Coil Blaster. The Coil Blaster holds 20 rounds. Holding down the trigger increases the rate of fire. It can be very useful for shocking enemy machines. That concludes this installment of Machine Spotlight, where we took a closer look at the Slitherfang. Tell me what you think about the Slitherfang in the comments below. I personally found the Slitherfang to be one of the more difficult enemies due to its sheer speed. I also think it looks pretty awesome. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, Please press the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'm Noxious Asp. Thanks for watching.